In this video, I will show how to apply thermal properties to curtain wall elements and method when we are talking about the solid part of a curtain wall. Regarding curtain walls, some things you should be aware of. A curtain wall consists of panels. Basically, there is two types of curtain panels. There is transparent panels and there is solid panels. Let me show with the transparent pa panels first. Select just one panel here, go to Edit Type. And in the bottom, as with the windows, there's these analytical properties. And here I can choose between predefined glazing types. There's a quite big list of glazing types, so it should be possible to find that kind of glazing that should be used for this specific project. And after you have selected one, you will get the data of the heat transfer coefficient, in this case the U-value, and the thermal resistance. You also get the information of solar heat gain coefficient and the visual transmittance here. So that's quite easy to apply properties for transparent curtain panels. And when I click OK, I will apply these new settings or I could go to duplicate and add additional information here about it is a double glazing low E for low energy so I could have different types and then press OK and OK then this panel here will be changed to this new type as mentioned a panel could also be a solid panel so let me show how this can be done in this case I just selected one panel here and go to the properties and if I go to the bottom of this wall types I will find a solid one take this one and go to edit and in the same way as for the transparent elements there is also these analytical constructions but in many cases these solid panels is maybe a specific or divided uh, construction that is not in this list as we can see here there is built in some different types and if we select one we can see it have uh, the U value and the other types of information but we cannot go in and create our own this could be okay in some cases but in other cases you maybe want to create your own construction for these solid panels so instead of using these default system panels it is actually possible to instead use basic wall construction like we find in the top so let me just take one of these and we'll just change to a basic wall so that's actually possible to have a basic wall within a curtain system and the way this can be modified with thermal properties is shown in another video about walls and solid constructions